Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Pastor Pierre. Listen, we had an awesome experience. Today is Sunday, October 2nd, 2016. It was all about perspective. And as we get to the end of this 2016 year, my concern is that uh, so many in the body who have heard the word, who have uh, experienced the, uh, the enlargement of territory and have experienced perhaps even their faith increasing, they're going to remain in Egypt or perhaps they've experienced some bit of Rehoboth, which means the Lord has made room or enlargement or flourishing, um, uh, but they are going to go back to Egypt. And I'm so concerned, and I think that it is an issue of what we believe. We spoke last week about how we have to have deep roots, and that when you find yourself in a place like Elijah, and when your brook has been dried up, uh, that you will survive only if you have deep roots. And uh, this week, it was all about perspective, and we have to change our mind. Uh, there's a saying that says, if you change your mind, you change your life. And I truly believe believe that, that in this season we really have to change our mind and change our perspective and make a choice to do it. Paul said, I rejoice. I make a choice to rejoice. David showed us on numerous occasions how we have to make a choice to rejoice. I will bless the Lord at all times. So it's a choice that we can choose to, uh, to be sad and angry or we can walk in victory and experience the joy of the Lord. So in this week, we looked at uh, Philippians chapter 1 verses 18 and 19 and uh, we were just studying perspective and here was Paul was talking about two groups of people one group of people who are going to preach the gospel uh, out of love and for the good of the kingdom and, and to really bring God glory but then he spoke about another group who are going to preach the gospel just to be greedy and to really uh, uh, make themselves known and enlarge their own territory um, uh, but Paul said uh, this he says but that doesn't matter he says uh, whether their motives are false or genuine uh, the message about Christ is being preached either way so I rejoice and I will continue to rejoice so now you're seeing that he's talking about these greedy people but he says listen it doesn't matter because the message of Christ is going to be preached so I will continue to rejoice for I know that as you pray for me and as the Spirit of Jesus Christ helps me this will lead to my deliverance so right here we see that it's all about perspective I love how the message Bible puts it and uh, this thing can preach uh, and it says, and I am going to keep that celebration going on because I know how it's going to turn out. I know how it's going to turn out through your faithful prayers in the generous response of the spirit of Jesus Christ. Everything he wants to do in and through me uh, will be done. I can hardly wait to continue on my course. Three things happen here. So if we want to walk out of this 2016 year with the victory that has already been given to us via the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, he says, take heed for I have overcome the world, then we have got to change our perspective. But three things that are pointed out in the scripture here with Paul in Philippians chapter 1 verses 18 and 19. One, he says, for I know. See, it's what you know that will keep you going. It's what you know that will keep you pressing on in the midst of calamity. It's what you know that will keep you having faith in the midst of chaos, sickness, disease, of foolishness, betrayal. It's what you know that will keep you going. So he says, listen, for I know. So the question is that as we get to the end of this year, what is it that you know? Do you really have deep roots? Because if you don't have deep roots, trust and believe you're going to die out here in the desert. You're going to die in the midst of your dry brook. You're going to die in the midst of your difficulties. But if you have deep roots, ladies and gentlemen, you have the ability to survive whatever the enemy is putting up against you. The Bible says that Noah's Ark, it was pitched within and it was pitched without, meaning that the Ark was able to pass through the storm, pass through the difficulty, pass through the waves without the waves and the difficulty in the storm passing through them. So you've got to have deep roots. And deep roots just means, listen, what is it that I know? I know that my God will never leave me nor forsake me. I know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I know know that the hand of God is upon my life in Jeremiah 29 11 says that I know the thoughts that I have towards you plans to bring you a hope in a future you know I, those are my deep roots so it's what you know that will keep you going 
people in uh, in life, in the circumstances of life, they can take away resources, relationships, uh, all types of things, but they cannot take away from you that in which you know. I know that the word of God is true. Thy word, O God, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I know that 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 the grass may wither and the flowers may fade, but the word of our God it remains the same and it remains forever. I know that God is not like man that he uh, shall not lie nor shall he change his mind so it doesn't matter what I experience what I do how I fail uh, when I succeed that I am still the righteousness of Christ uh, the, the, the 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 first Adam he messed it up but that second Adam came uh, in, in the son of Jesus Christ or in, in, in the son of God named Jesus Christ and he has now uh, made me the righteousness of God so I that is what I know I have deep roots second thing that Paul pointed out here he says for I know through your prayers see it's not only what you know but it's who you are connected to that we were looking at this dry brook and we were saying that listen if you ask that plant in the midst of the desert uh, 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 how you made it it's gonna say well I have deep roots uh, but so yes it's what you know and the plant will have deep roots you in the midst of the desert you have deep roots you are firmly rooted and deeply rooted in the Word of God uh, knowing that that that, that 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 it's by what you hear that your faith will come faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God so it's what you know but it's who you're connected with with. Imagine that plant in the desert, but then when God is pouring into the life of that plant, which causes it to have even deeper roots, imagine there's another little plant. That's you. That's me. And we out here thirsty. We out here parched, which means to be very thirsty, dry, due to very hot conditions. I don't have time as a very dry plant who is thirsty, who's experiencing a, a dry brook in my life, who's experiencing lack in my life, who's experiencing sickness in my life, who's experiencing having to look at other people get blessed, having to watch other people get elevated, having to watch other people's territory be enlarged. I don't have time to sit back and be jealous based off of what they're experiencing. No, 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 no. Because I see that, listen, they are deeply rooted. So when God is blessing them and the water is pouring on their lives and now getting down to their soil, uh, uh, making their roots grow and expand because that's what will happen when the plant is watered, the roots will then expand and, and gain territory, gain ground. But when the water is being uh, poured on the plant, imagine raindrops coming down. As the water is dropping, as the, the, the rain is dropping on that plant, imagine some of the, the water bouncing off because that's what's going to happen. So if my, me, this plant experiencing the dry season, if I'm close enough to the plant that is being watered, glory to God, some of the water that is falling on that plant is also going to bounce up on me. I had it in my right mind to take the water bottle I was holding today and I was going to fling it at everybody in the crowd, but I knew they would just be me. So get us all right. Uh, so, but but that's what will happen is that some of the water will drop on you. So I'm going to now hook myself up with that plan because I know that when God blesses that plan, it's also going to bless me. Same thing. Paul said, listen, it's for it's what I know. Too, he said, it's who I'm connected with. For through your prayers, but then he also mentioned, mentioned this. He mentioned the spirit of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. That spirit that is a counselor, that is a comforter, that is a teacher who will teach you all things who will teach you what the book can't hold. Glory to God. Uh, that, that he says, it's what I know, it's through your prayers, but it's through the Spirit. I know that there is a Spirit that is working on my behalf. That when I don't know what to say, when I don't know what to pray, that there is a Spirit that is now going up to the boardroom of heaven where sits uh, 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 God the Father and God the Son. And I know that that Spirit is now uh, yoking and linking up with what I'm feeling and now making intercessions for me that's what I know I know that it's the by the Spirit of God the Spirit of God that Holy Spirit that's a gift that God has given us I know that I'm making it by the Spirit and he says all these three things one it's what I know two it's through your prayers and three by the Spirit it'll lead to my deliverance glory to God so it's by your perspective that watch this regardless of what you go through regardless of the greedy people the mean people the ugly acting people the stank acting people <laughs> the, 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 one, the ones with those ugly looks when you walk into a room it's by even uh, uh, in the midst of everything that you are facing it's by what you know you, you have deep roots 
It's through the prayers of the faithful ones. Listen, Pierre Lamar Johnson Jr. makes it every week because I know that people are praying for me. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter what I go through. Uh, it, it, it takes me on a little further because I know that there is, is, a, is a great crowd uh, that is rooting me on. And then three, it's by that spirit. Watch this, it'll lead to my deliverance. So through all of that, my perspective stays uh, 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 with the perspective of Jesus Christ. And we've got to ask God in the midst of everything we're going through, what is God's perspective? So when we check in with God's perspective, we can say like Paul, keep the party going. I will continue to rejoice in the celebration goes on. Run on in Jesus' name. I'll see you next Sunday. Keep the celebration going, baby. There's no reason to fret. God bless you. Peace.